Hi, everyone. My name is Thuy Phai, an Android engineer from Live Vietnam App Engineering Team. Today, I am going to share about how we develop live application on WOS. My screen today has four sessions. First, I will explain what is WOS and why we decided to make live application on WOS. Second, I will introduce an overview of the live application on WOS. Next, I will share the challenge that we face during development phase and solution for each one. And the last is a key takeaway of my sharing. Let's see what is VOS. VOS is pay on Android, so many of best practices for Android is also applied for the VOS. We still use Android Studio, Kotlin, and HTML for development, then public tab to the Google Play Store. However, VOS is optimized for which, so there are some difference between two of them. They give us new experience and sharing during development phase to explain about why we decided to create like VOS app version. So let's check like app history. Like app service has been uh, over years. When there is any new platform released, we always try to make like available on each app. It let our user keep connect with their contacts on any platform device. At Google I.O. this year, Google announced the partnership with Samsung to help it with its slow standing wearable platform. And with the popular of the Samsung smartwatch nowadays, I decided to make our service available on the Wear OS device. Let's see how my Messenger app or the Wear OS look like. We decided to make light on Wear OS uh, three of zero and later, the app will work properly with or without like Android application. If Android application is installed, installed on the phone, they can use some advanced feature. But if not, like we will app is still work as independent messenger application. With the limitation of the hardware, like battery and memory capacity, we only implement native feature of live messenger application on VOS. For example, user can send and receive the message from other contacts or group, and messages are decrypted at uh, live the work on, the, on, on other platform to ensure the security of the live application. And our users are only able to log in by using QR code. The more convenient login methods for small device like smartwatch. So let's see what different of development process of like VOS. In general, development process are same as error development, but there are some new principles for its phase. For the first phase design, we only focus on one or two needs of our target user. In the implement phase, we can share the PhD logic with the Android project. And in a test phase, make sure that our app meet the Google standard. Then in the last step, in public the app to Play Store, we use the multi ABK delivery methods. The, we already, uh, because we already have a live Android app on Play Store, multiple ABK support is a feature of the Google Play that allow us to publish different APK for our application, but it targets to different device configuration. It APK is complete and independent version of the application, but they share the same application listing on Google Play and have the same package key, name, and be shy with the same release. Work on VOS is also a new experience to Android engineer like me, small and large spec device, and UI UX is optimized for the wish. They have small screen, loud battery, and loud memory. Each other of merge requires to consider carefully when implement live VOS application. I will categorize the challenge into five sessions: new UI UX, notification. Sim data with Android application, 
battery uses, and network uses. First, let's check the challenge on the new UI UX. Working on small screen and variety of three types, square and round, it requires to help design for both what string up. During the development phase, we must test the application again to emulator. The VOS were 1,075 inch and VOS around 1,084 inch at Google search test. To make the best UI UX, we must use Wear OS UI library from Android Jackpack to see how VOS UI library support us in development. Let's check what it provides us. The first is the pop is that layout. It is a screen such where we group that can pop its turn in the center square of the round screen. But you see the layout box attribute. This value is for the attributes uh, specified try it to be post in the left, top, right, bottom, and on. The layout post edge attribute is not on divide with particular screen. By default, activity automatically support the Y to limit cluster. But for the fragment view, we can use the Y dismiss probably out to enable left to right Y dismiss. And the last I want to share is uh, talk about is wearable with less color view. It is a wearable specific implementation of the recycler view. It's enable the circular scrolling and semi-circular layout. If we use a recycler view, it can work fine on a square screen, but not on circle screen. So first and last item will be cut, and we can find some work right way to fit it, but it takes too much effort to calculate spacing. So let's check the challenge on the notification. The notification on watch use the same API and have the same structure as notification on the phone. Notification can be on VOS watch in two ways. First, a mobile app create notification and the system automatically break that notification to the watch. And the second, the VOS app create a notification itself. This mechanism may call the duplicated notification on the watch or in live app if porn and watch lock in different account, user can be confused and upsetting. So on like VOS app, we have to uh, decide when the not notification is show. So in live app, first we will check whether like Android app is installed. If not, not notification is not show otherwise. We continue to check if phone and watch are logged in same account. If not, we disable brick notification. If yes, notification will be shown if uh, phone and watch are connected. Otherwise, no live notification will be shown. To disable brick notification on Android, we set brick task when create notification. And on VOS, we include tasks that we set on Android app. To implement the mechanism of showing notification on the live VOS, it required to get the user ID of login account on the live Android. So let's move on with the next challenge to see how we get data from live Android version. In our live VOS app, there are three, uh, two kinds of data that we need to get from live Android app. The first is user ID to check user login system account on live Android and VOS or not. Uh, as it not mentioned in, uh, I mentioned in the notification bar. The second is the query of live would be the list of the text message from what setting on live Android. This data should be uh, sent to the live US when they are changed. For example, send the user ID after login to cell phone or which apply after user change them in the setting. And on the US, there are three 
way to see the data between the Android and VOS. The first is a data client. In this way, data is synchronized across all device in a VOS network. It is possible to set data item while not connected to any node. So data item will be seen when the node come online. And the second is message client. Uh, in this way, we can send a message. Uh, and it's good for the remote produced call. It is great for one-way request or request and respond communication model. Channel client, and the last is the channel client. It's uh, uh, good to transfer data file, stream data, live voice data from microphone. When the internet is not available with uh, automatically, it will not automatically synchronize session. When the data is too large to send by message client, the channel client is a good replacement. So in like apply US application, we decided to use uh, message client, not data client or channel client, because the data client is uh, required to move the data to the Google server. But our data like user ID is the private data. We don't want to push it to a third server to make sure the security of the live application or uh, not channel client because our, our data is just a string for the user ID, a list of string for the current line. So when you see the client, uh, message client on the live web, we will create one we will able listener service to listen chain on the Android app. Whenever our need data is chain on Android, the data will be sent to VOS app via Bluetooth. So next challenge is about battery usage, the important factor that a smartwatch user can match. Online uh, Android, use, uh, we use long boolean to fetch the data from server after interval time effect in foreground. In background, the data will be updated when file pay messaging service receive a new message to keep this mechanism on the app. The battery life will be reduced very fast. This is unacceptable to our user. And we decided to change the mechanism on the WeWare app. We want to let our user to check the new message in protective way. If the app is in background and notification are not break from the live Android, user will not see any notification. They will open the app to see the new message. We did change the battery of the live viewers last longer. In the comparison of battery usage between live Android on the phone had 4,000 mAh and live viewers on the watch had uh, 331 million by hour. I let the app run on the foreground one minute and one minute in background. Uh, and divide power, uh, estimated power U of live US is loud and acceptable. And the last challenge is network usage. Before I go through how we do the network usage, we understand together how smartwatch make network requests. So we US app can make a network request. So when a word in two ways, so when a word had a Bluetooth connection uh, to a phone, the word network traffic generally is proceed through a phone. Otherwise, it will use mobile data or Wi-Fi network. That is how we always work make a network request. So what can happen if we can a large video or a, a last video or high quality image on our VOS version. First, if the watch network it proceed through uh, the phone via Bluetooth connection, and the Bluetooth connection is uh, person five, the speed is two megabit per second, and it is not fast enough. But with the large data, it it means if you more better uses on both device. The second, if the watch you is the uh, network, no problem with the network speed, but it still have issue on battery usage or even memory usage. Because we have to uh, process the large data, see to the local story. So we have to find a way to reduce the network usage of our app. So to reduce the network usage, 
we have four solutions. The first, we decided to limit supported basic type. Possible we don't support video limited with the video preview, what required a lot network usage to download. Second, we support image message, but only download a shorter thumbnail of the image. We don't download the original image and show. It means that you know, image viewer can, uh, user can zoom in, zoom out, like a version. The last, we uh, disable the passive feature like animated sticker and give image. Here is the message type with some limitation that we support on the WeWet version. We only support for message type, text, sticker, image, and audio. But there is some optimization. For example, we disable animated pop-up and show effect of sticker messages. For the image message, we only show the thumbnail, no image preview. And for the Android uh, audio message, we limit the recorded duration to 30 seconds. By sending the same image message to power app version, they inject the network usage of light app on Android and iOS version after optimized. On iOS, we only download and show the terminal image. It's you very low network data overall. At all, let's see how, me how memory allocation of uh, Live Messenger on Android and iOS. By applying several solutions, iOS version memory usage is nearly five times lower than Android app version. And really, the whole experience and the challenge we got when developed like iOS version. So let's separate my sharing with some key takeaway. When I, an Android engineer, start working on live viewers, it gave me new experience and challenge, but overall it is easy to start. And there are three principles I follow in viewers development. First, enough the good out of this. We only focus on one or two needs of our target user rather than a full app experience. We don't migrate an entire mobile code base and put a VOS user interface on top. Instead, we find critical tasks that work well on grids and streamline the experience on VOS. Second, optimize the app for which. To do this, we should focus on two things. Make sure the app contain within the physical display area and no tech or control are cut up by the screen edge. And second, give user the content they need every time they read their wish and have people complete tasks or the work within a second to avoid ergonomic discomfort or empathy. And the last, we should pay attention to optimization. If we have Android app version, we should take full advantage of it, like we send data from the Android app or setting or even you break notification to review background service or the WeWet version. And we have to always think of battery network and memory uses. User came out about it. If the WeWet stop the red battery fast, user don't like it, they are willing to uninstall the app immediately. And that is all for my sharing. Thank you for making it until the end.